Hello and uh, welcome to this video wherein I'll be trying to give you an idea of how we can upload the lecture schedule on uh, SCOFTK uh, UMS. First, what you need to do is you need to open the uh, UMS page and the web address for opening the UMS page is uh, displayed over here. It is uh, ums.scostkashmir.ac.in slash administrator slash login dot aspx now once you uh, write this uh, web address on uh, your browser this page will be displayed as you can see on the screen right now you need to write your user id and then you need to write your password now once i am through with uh, writing the user id and password you have to click on login button and uh, the time you will be able to see the first screen of uh, UMS, it will display the courses that you have been allocated as primary teacher. Here I would like to mention over here that uh, if there are four course instructors for a particular course, then the first course instructor is by default treated as a primary teacher. So the course will be listed as a primary teacher to the teacher's login once he will log in using his credentials. Now, as you can see in my case, I'm uh, Mudassir Kirmani from Faculty of Fisheries, wherein I at present am associated with Communication Skills and Personality Development or BFSC first year course, wherein I am a primary teacher. Now, you need to focus over here that this is the area that is course schedule and this manage. This manage will help you in checking out that where you can upload the uh, course schedule. One more attribute over here which I would like to mention is that if you have already created a lecture schedule in your previous semester while uploading contents on the UMS, then those contents will be displayed on the screen. So you can select them and then accordingly you can uh, add those contents. Now let me uh, go back and uh, click on this manage button as far as course schedule is concerned. Now, once I click on manage, as I have already added the lecture schedule to my course, you can see that the lecture schedule is visible. But in your case, this area won't be visible. Then once you scroll the screen, you can find what you had uploaded in your previous semester. Like you can see that meaning of communication was uploaded in 1819 session. Therefore, you can select any particular session over here, whatever you like based on the current semester's syllabi you can select all those attributes and you can click on add now once you click on this add button what it will do is automatically whatever you have selected in your previous semester that will be uploaded over here one more option is if you are doing this process for the first time and you don't have this list available then what you need to do is in order to fill all lectures you can simply click on uh, auto fill as you can see over here, autofill will fill uh, lectures as per the schedule with dummy contents. You, you need to click on autofill. What will happen is it will automatically generate lecture uh, title 1, lecture title 2, lecture title 3. And you can see that if your course is 0 0.1, automatically you can find out 16 sessions will be populated when you click on autofill button. Now, if your course is 1 plus 1, then automatically 16 uh, theory sessions and 16 practical sessions will be uh, populated in uh, this particular screen. One more attribute over here. Once everything is populated over here, let's assume that this particular area over here, it is mentioning lecture one. You can click on that lecture one in order to make any change to that lecture. Let's suppose this is meaning of communication. It, it is displaying you. Uh, the contents of that you can put contents as well if you want to put any sort of an explanation to it you can change from practical schedule to theory schedule i'm not able to do it because this course is zero plus one therefore i don't have any theory class you can change the name of the person who is going to deliver the lecture with respect to that let's suppose in this particular course two people are associated one it's my name second one is guest faculty in english so if i click on guest faculty in english the guest faculty will be associated with that particular lecture. So once the guest faculty will log into his or her account, she'll be able to see uh, this particular topic in her domain. Now, once again, going back to the dashboard, just to give you a recap, 
once you reach your dashboard once you log into your account you need to click on course schedule uh, manage button now once you click on manage button you can select the topics from over here whatever you have uploaded previously if you have not uploaded anything then you can simply click on autofill button once you click on autofill button all these lectures will be populated with lecture 1 lecture 2 lecture 3 lecture 4 and once you click on any lecture you can modify them you can assign it to a teacher and this will help you in completing the process of lecture schedule upload i hope that this video has been helpful and i am always uh, happy to hear from you in terms of feedback with respect to where do i need to improve thanks a lot for your patient hearing and kindly do upload the lecture schedule at the earliest thank you